all of the different lightsaber hilt designs and types. First are the standard lightsabers, also known as vanilla lightsabers. They consist of a straight hilt, approximately 20 to 30 centimeters long, and were the preferred lightsaber type for many force users. Various users have modified these lightsabers to be able to function underwater, have adjustable blade length, and be concealed as a cane, and split into two separate pieces for concealment. They have also been modified to be used as training lightsabers, which are engineered with a low power setting, so low that the users could pick them up by the blade and only suffer minor injuries. Lightsabers were usually made out of metal, but have been made out of other materials like wood. Second are the lightsaber shotos, also known as short lightsabers or light daggers. They were essentially a smaller version of the standard lightsabers, consisting of a smaller hilt and blade. They were typically used by smaller beings. Regular sized beings also used these lightsabers as an offhand weapon when performing the twin bladed technique of dark cut. Third are the light clubs, also known as great lightsabers or great sabers. It was basically a larger version of the standard lightsaber, and could have a blade as long as 3 meters. They were used by immensely large beings. Fourth are the curved hilt oh, lightsabers, also known as dueling lightsabers. These curved lightsabers were used because the curved hilt fit better into the palm, granting better blade control and allowing for greater precision and strength. They were usually used by users who were specialized in Form 2. Asajj Ventress modified her curved hilt lightsabers to be able to join together to form a saber staff. Fifth are the guard shotos, also known as lightsaber tonfas. They are a rare perpendicular gripped type of short lightsaber with a second handle extending from the main hilt at 90 degrees. This design allowed the user to easily block lightsaber attacks and perform quick slashing attacks. Sixth are the double bladed lightsabers, also known as double sabers or dual sabers. These were lightsaber staffs that emitted blades at both ends. Double bladed lightsabers allowed for a faster rate of attack, unleashing a rapid assault with minimum movement, and were also excellent as defensive weapons, as the doubled length of the weapon provided more surface area for deflecting and blocking. Various users modified these lightsabers to have them be able to fold in order to be used as single blades too, as well as modified to have an automatic spinning function with a curved handle that can be extended to encircle the entire hilt. Seventh are the long handle lightsabers. As the name implies, these lightsaber hilts were several times longer than that of a standard lightsaber. Although it was easy to swing around the body, its long handle is also an easy target for opponents trying to destroy the weapon during combat. Eighth are the lightsaber pikes, also known as lightsaber lances. These lightsabers were usually longer and thinner than the long handle lightsabers, and they tended to have shorter but thicker blades. Lightsaber pikes were typically made out of lightsaber resistant material, which removed the vulnerability seen in long handle lightsabers. Lightsaber pikes gave its user the advantage of a longer reach, but wasn't practical for blocking. Jedi Temple Guards wielded modified double-bladed lightsaber pikes. Ninth are the Light Whips, also known as Energy Whips or Laser Whips. Light Whips featured long, flexible blades that were often several meters long. They were wielded like regular whips and gave the users great range over their opponents. Up close though, Lightsaber whips were practically useless for defense. Lumia modified her light whip to include multiple tassels, which gave her the ability to overwhelm multiple opponents with ease. Tenth are the crossguard lightsabers, such as forked lightsabers. The crossguard lightsabers typically emitted three blades, a primary blade and two dagger-sized blades. The blades on the side provided protection and gave the users an ability to dig into their opponents in a lightsaber lock. There was a variation of the crossguard lightsaber, which featured a primary blade and only one dagger-sized blade at a 45-degree angle to the axis of the hilt. Its hilt was also slightly curved. Eleventh are the proto -sabers also known as archaic lightsabers. They were the earliest true lightsaber designs, 
The hilt was connected via a cable to an external power pack due to limitations in power pack technology. After lightsabers were advanced enough not to require an external power pack, some users started to use retro sabers. Retro sabers continued the use of external power packs. These modern power packs allowed for a brief power surge, creating a more powerful blade for a short time, and therefore a temporary advantage in combat. Though an obvious disadvantage was that the external power pack made these lightsabers extremely vulnerable. Twelfth are the force sabers. Though they were technically the first lightsabers, they required the use of the dark side to be activated rather than a traditional battery. This made it risky for light side users to use them, as it could have them fall to the dark side of the force. Force sabers paved the way to the creation of proto sabers, which didn't rely on the dark side to be used. Thirteenth is Ezra Bridger's lightsaber. His lightsaber was a lightsaber blaster hybrid. When in lightsaber mode, the weapon had an adjustable blade that could be used in combat. The blaster in the lightsaber was set to stun, and could only be used when the lightsaber was turned off. Fourteenth is Exar Kun's lightsaber. It was a modified standard lightsaber that emitted blades at both ends. Although the hill was long enough to be gripped by both hands, it was best used by a single hand. This allowed Exar Kun to control the double-bladed lightsaber with his wrists, rather than his entire arm, which resulted in him being able to quickly block an attack and then quickly land a killing blow. Fifteenth is the War Dragon Rider's lightsaber. He wielded a modified lightsaber with two hilts and three separate blades, one on each end, and one connecting the lightsaber's two handles together. Nothing else is known about this lightsaber. Sixteenth is the Dark Saber. It was an ancient black-bladed lightsaber that featured a unique blade that was nearly flat, thin, and curved to a point more typical of a metallic sword. The hilt of the dark saber was thin and rectangular, and featured an angled crossguard. Seventeenth are Irak Ismarin's eight surgically implanted lightsabers in his body and subdermal armor pads. When fighting, he literally would run towards his enemies and just wildly slash at them. Last are the light foils. Though they technically weren't lightsabers, they were an elegant energy sword based upon the lightsaber design. They were light compared to lightsabers and were wielded with one hand. They were usually used by wealthy, non-force-sensitive noblemen. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the force be with you.